Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry. So without any delay, let's dive into the video. Friends, first news is from TVS. TVS has recently announced some benefits on their TVS iCube electric scooters. As Fame 2 subsidy is going to end on this March 31st, most of the electric vehicle companies are offering huge discounts to clear out the old stock of their electric vehicles. So in that regard, TVS has announced up to 40,000 rupees benefits on their iCube electric scooters. So currently, TVS iCube electric scooters get up to 22,000 of Fame 2 subsidy and upon that subsidy, TVS is offering 6,000 rupees discount on their electric scooter and whoever plans to buy this electric scooter with no cost EMI they are offering additional 7500 rupees discount on this electric scooter and the 5000 rupees worth of extended warranty now they are offering it just for 1000 rupees itself so like this TVS is offering a total of 40000 rupees benefits on their IQ electric scooter but let me remind you these offers are only applicable to some of the selected dealerships itself so if you want to know whether these offers or benefits is available available at your nearest showroom you should visit your nearest TVS dealership and you can inquire about these benefits Next news is from Ministry of Heavy Industries. As Fame 2 subsidy is going to end on this March 31st and as to encourage the electric vehicle penetration in India, Ministry of Heavy Industries has launched a new scheme called E-Mobility Promotion Program 2024. So this scheme will be applicable from April 1st and it will end on July 31st. So under this scheme, 10,000 rupees will be given to electric two-wheelers, 25,000 rupees will be given to small and light electric three-wheelers and 50,000 rupees will be given to heavy electric three wheelers as a subsidy amount now currently under the fame to subsidy central government is offering 10000 rupees per kilowatt hour for an electric scooter but in this newly launched scheme you will get only 10000 rupees per electric two wheeler so the validity of this new scheme will be for four months after july 31st fame 3 subsidy will be introduced in india then we can expect uh, a huge price drops on electric vehicles but as of now in these four months the prices of the electric scooters or electric vehicles is going to up a bit and after completion of these four months we can expect a price drop on all electric vehicles Friends, next news is from Aether. As we all know that Aether is going to launch their family-oriented electric scooter called Aether Rista on April 6th. So till now, Aether has teased about the long seat of this upcoming electric scooter and now they have started teasing their battery pack. Recently, Aether has dropped their upcoming electric scooter's battery pack from 40 feet height. So their intention is to prove that the Aether Rista electric scooter's battery is shockproof and it can support or take the damage from the bad roads. So they have dropped their electric scooter's battery from the 40 feet height. So this electric scooter's battery is covered with aluminium casing as we all know how strong is the aluminium casing will be. And along with the launch of this Aether Rista electric scooter on April 6, Aether is going to launch Aether Stack 6 which is a software upgrade of this electric scooters. So we'll get to know the complete details on the what all the features we are getting in this Aether Stack 6 on the April 6 date. And along with this Aether CEO Tawang Mehta has teased a new accessory for Aether electric scooters through his X account. So he released a small teaser video showing that accessory and that accessory name is going to be Halo. So the accessory is not clearly visible. So what you are thinking what this new accessory is going to be, please let me know in the comments. And recently we uploaded Aether 450 Apex electric scooter review on our channel. I will give you the link of that video in the description. If you are interested to watch Aether 450 Apex electric scooter walk around review, please go ahead and watch that video. Friends, next news is from TVS. Recently, Kinetic Green has launched Luna Electric in the market. I love this electric scooter and I made a dedicated video on this Luna EV. If you are interested, I gave the link in the description. Please go ahead and watch after this video. The direct competitor for this Kinetic Luna EV is going to be TVS XL. As TVS is working on XL EV, recently they have trademarked two names on this TVS XL EV. And those names are TVS XL EV and TVS EXL. So soon we can expect a TVS XL electric from TVS from our India. Previously some of the sketch designs of this TVS XL has leaked into the internet. So by observing all this we can expect a TVS XL EV in our India in upcoming 6 to 7 months. 
Friends, next news is from MG. Recently, MG has trademarked a new name called Exitor EV for their upcoming electric car. So, this is going to be the third electric car from MG in our India. There is no confirmation details about this upcoming electric car. So, if they have trademarked that electric car, they may or they may not launch this electric car in India. But if they launch this Exitor EV in India, it might be Wuling Bojun Yep. Previously, MG has launched MG Comet EV which is sold as Wuling Air EV in Indonesia. Now we can expect this Wuling Bajun Yep electric car in India as MG Exitor EV. So this shares the same platform as MG Comet EV. This is a tiny electric car with three doors. So we can expect this Bajun Yep electric car in India as Exitor EV. There is also a top end variant of this Bajun EV called Bajun EV Plus. So that is a five door SUV electric car so mg might launch this uh, baujun yep ev or baujun yep ev plus in our india as exit or ev so we don't know the exact details of this upcoming electric car from the mg as of now but we can expect some more details about this electric car by end of this year Friends, next news is from Mahindra. If you remember last year, a 18-year boy named Pragnananda has participated in the World Chess Championship and he lost his final match with his opponent. So, encouraging that Pragnananda, Mahindra and Mahindra CEO Anand Mahindra has promised to gift an electric car for this young boy. So, recently, Pragnananda's family has received Mahindra XUV 4 double electric car as gift from Anand Mahindra sir. So, Anand Mahindra sir has gifted this electric car to the father of this Pragnananda as he supported his son to go to the finals of the World Chess Championship. Pragnananda is the youngest ever chess player to reach Chess World Cup finals. So Anand Mahindra sir will be always enthusiastic to support the young talents in India. So if you have any talents, please don't hide them in yourself. Go to your parents and express your talents. Maybe if they support you, you can achieve some brilliant records. Friends, last news is from Kia. As we all know that Kia EV9 electric car has launched into global market recently and this electric car has won Women's World Car of the Year award. So most of the women's worldwide are preferring to buy this electric car by looking at its innovative design features and the performance of this electric car. And this electric car is going to launch in India by the end of this year. So if this electric car is launched in India, it's going to be second electric offering from Kia in our India. Currently, Kia offers Kia EV6 electric car in our India. India, which costs somewhere around 60 to 70 thousand rupees ex showroom. So, if this Kia EV9 launches in India, it might be priced between 90 lakhs to 1 crore rupees. So, this is a seven seater electric car which measures 5 meters in length and it can give 500 kilometers range on a single charge. This electric car is designed with high end technology and it's one of the biggest electric cars which are available worldwide. So, friends, these are some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry for this week. If you found the video informative, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india go green go electric